guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's episode, we're doing another installment of our household item series. This is back by popular request because I know you guys love it when we do 10 cute and easy nail art designs that can be created just by using items from around the house. So there are no fancy nail art tools required. Which of these 10 nail art designs is your favorite? Let us know down in the comments. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump into the tutorial. Before we start the designs, remember to prep your nails with a layer of base coat to protect them and help your manicure last as long as possible. For the first design, I'll be using an eyeshadow applicator. I always get these when I buy an eyeshadow palette and I just toss them into my nail art drawer to use for stuff like this. My favorite way to use them is for a glitter gradient. Begin with a base color of your choice. I'm using a light blue color from Zoya. Next, apply some glitter polish to the eyeshadow applicator and then wait a second or two for the sponge to absorb some of that extra clear polish. Pat the sponge over the free edge of the nail, focusing most of the glitter on the very edge and breaking it up as it goes up the nail. I like to apply a little more of the polish just on the edge of the nail to make sure the glitter is most dense right there. Finish with a generous layer of top coat and that's it. Next, I'll be using Sharpies or permanent markers to create a watercolor wash. For this design, I started with a white base and I let it completely dry. Next, I'm using a black nail art striping polish and painting on an abstract squiggly print. You can do any design you want, but it's best to do it in black and that'll make sense in the next step. Once all the polish is dry, grab your Sharpies and just scribble some of the ink onto a plastic surface. Then use rubbing alcohol to dilute the colors. It's best to work one color at a time because the alcohol evaporates pretty fast. Also, make sure you have a paper towel to wipe your brush off on between colors to prevent them from mixing together. Then just paint the watered down Sharpies all over the nail. Because the black is darker than the colors, you can go right over your design too. Seal in the design with top coat and you're done. Next, we'll be using Sharpies again and plastic wrap to create a cool marble design. For this, I'll also be starting with white polish for my base color and letting it dry. Next, I'm using some plastic wrap and I'm scrunching that into a small ball. I applied some gray polish to an area with lots of wrinkles and then I just dabbed that over my nail. Let that completely dry, then use a fine tip black permanent marker to dot on some more prominent veins in the marble. And just like the last design, use a detail brush and dip it into some alcohol to go over the marker and soften the lines. This black marker turns kind of purple when the alcohol touched it, which I thought actually ended up looking kind of cool. If you think you overdid it on the marker or the gray polish, you can always add a little more white over top to soften it up. I finished with a matte top coat and I added a little triangle metal stud. Moving along, we'll be doing a cute and easy side scallop design. Again, I'll be using two coats of white nail polish and letting it completely dry. Next, I'm using these yard sale stickers, or you can also use any round sticker that you have laying around the house, and I'm placing that over the side of my nail. You technically don't have to do this part, but it helps keep the design consistent and even. Then just apply another color onto the exposed area of the nail, then peel off the sticker while the polish is still wet. 
To create the scalloped edge, I'll be using the end of a clicky ballpoint pen. The end of the pen can be used to create large dots. Then make connected dots along the edge of the half circle. Next, I'll show you how to use a rubber band to help guide your cutout designs. Take a rubber band and wrap it around the nail you want to evenly paint in half. I use my other fingers on the same hand to keep it in place. Then apply the polish to your nail underneath the rubber band, and if you're holding it tight enough, the rubber band will work as a barrier and create an even line. Finish with top coat to smooth out the surface, and you can always add a little detail like a metal stud. Next, we'll be using regular tape to DIY your own striping tape. Tear off a piece of tape and place it onto two bottles of polish to hold it in place. Then paint the tape with a metallic polish and set it aside to dry. Once it's dry, you can cut the tape into any size or shape you'd like and apply it to your nail. Make sure to seal it in with a good top coat to keep it in place. Next, I'll show you a super easy tie-dye design using plastic wrap. Pick out three bright colors and apply blobs to your nail. You need enough polish to cover the nail, but not so much that it's pulling up on the sides. Then take your piece of plastic wrap and lay it over top of the nail and lightly squish the polish over your nail through the plastic wrap. Then when you peel it up, you're left with this really cool effortless marble-like swirl. I like to clean up the excess polish on the sides with a wooden stick and then I go back in with an angled brush dipped in nail polish remover to remove the extra bits. Another household item that can be used for easy nail art is paint markers. I'm using a gold metallic one for this next design, and I'm just gonna create a bold single stripe down the middle of my nail. You do have to really let these dry between coats. I wait at least 10 minutes to top coat, or else you risk them smudging. For this next design, we're grabbing that ballpoint pen again, but you can also use a bobby pin for a makeshift dotting tool. And once again, I'm starting with a white base coat. You don't have to use white as your base. You can use whatever color you like. I'm just using white to keep it simple. Using rainbow colors of nail polish, I made a line of dots down the center of my nail overlapping the previous color. It's best to wait a few seconds in between colors just to make sure that they don't bleed together when you put down the next color. I think this is a really fun but easy way to incorporate more colors into your manicure. And lastly, I'll show you how to create a palm tree with a paper clip. First, I'll be applying a hot pink polish to my nail for the background of the design and letting it completely dry. Take a paper clip and open it up so it's easier to use. I also straightened out the curve a little more so that it wasn't as bent. Then dip the curved part into a puddle of polish. I did a couple of tests on a piece of paper to get comfortable with the pressure I needed to apply. Then just make four curves on your nail for the top of the palm tree. I'll admit this definitely isn't perfect, but if you're starting out, this can help create a guide for you and you can perfect the tree with a detail brush. For the trunk of the tree, I used the straight part of the paper clip and I just placed it down. Finish your design with a top coat and you're done.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let us know by hitting that thumbs up. And if you'd like to watch more fun nail art videos, you can just click on these boxes here. And click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here.